Now, uh, as things started to free up, people celebrated by, God forbid, actually going to the pub and doing so on the 1st of uh, June in both New South Wales and in Victoria, where it started to open up. Well, of course, this displeased one of uh, the people over there at Channel 2, who is also displeased that she may have to walk past somebody she disagrees with in the corridor, check previous tweets. I'm predicting there's going to be a lot of Aussie blokes drinking beer and knockabout male pollies having a cold one on TV news tonight. Prob's my least favourite cliche. Oh, she's so down with the kids. Prob's my least favourite cliche and one that really, truly does not represent the majority of us. A grand total of 300 people agreed with her. By retweeting, a grand total of 2,500 people agreed with her via likes. Um, Mark, look, I... Don't care whether her world has people drinking in it or not. But last time I checked, um, there's an awful lot of people who just like having a beer and they're able to do it without hitting anyone, carrying on or anything else. What a snooty, smarmy little perspective from the person reading Sydney's 7pm news. Yeah, and miserable. You know, at the end of the day, the left is so humourless, miserable. You sort of wonder what life they lead behind the scenes. Um, you know, I think it's a sad reflection on this individual the thought of other Australians going out to do what they enjoy, not everyone has to be like Juanita Phillips, going out to do what they enjoy, having a few quiet beers with their mates and enjoying that in a responsible way, uh, helping to reopen these pubs that employ people. Correct. You know, is that unrepresentative of our country? Uh, investment, spending your dollars, employing people. I mean, isn't it a day to celebrate? What a sneering, snobbish, miserable sod she must be. And... You know, what is representative? You've got to be a left-wing reader of the ABC on ABC News. It's just so appalling that people would deny their fellow Australians a bit of simple pleasure on a day like this where the economy is getting back closer to normal. We're going to see more people employed, not locked down. You know, all these left-wing concerns about mental illness. Well, maybe having a few beers with your mates is a bloody good thing. You rotten, miserable sod, Phillips. Yeah, well, by the way, just in case she wants to know where the majority of Australia is, that right-wing think tank, the Australian Bureau of Statistics, says that 78.8% of Australians drink alcohol. So just in case she thinks. Now, by the way, I actually ventured into a, a club for the first time in months. And exactly what you talk about, Mark, was what was happening. A whole bunch of blokes, high-vis vests, sitting around. They were all young. None of them would have been older than 23. And they were laughing. They were having a good old time hanging out with each other. Yes, I donated to the club, uh, you know, just very kindly via their poker machines. But still, you know, people getting back to social interaction. God forbid it actually happens. And it doesn't happen sort of, you know, at the, at the ballet or the theatre or the, you know, Eugene Goosen Hall or wherever it is officially fun is allowed <laughs> to take place.